Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad to have you pull up a chair. Now listen, <clears throat> the more I get into carving, the more I get into character carving specifically, and I want to talk to you about the ways you can grow in this type of carving, right? Because not everybody can afford to, to go to a wood carving seminar or, or to hire a, a tutor on these kind of things. So how do you do it more cheaply? How do you do it with less expensive, right? Well, one of those ways is by getting into study sticks or buying study sticks. And I've, I've purchased a few study sticks online and I've gotten some made by friends and uh, in various spots. There are differences between the types of study sticks you can get and there are different places you can get them from and there aren't that many available out there. So knowing where to go and how to get there is kind of part of the point. Uh, that's what I'm going to go over today. I'm go over the differences between these sticks, um, the difference between resin sticks and wooden sticks and what you can find, what's available and how to get a hold of it. How you can use these to like develop your own, your own carving, right? We're going to go ahead and get into that. We're going to flip the camera around and jump right into it. All right. Thank you guys. All right. So before I get into this too, too in depth, I want to make sure I talk about this first off, right? I am not an Amazon affiliate. I am not an affiliate of any of these sources that I give you for where you can find these things. I don't make any money off these whatsoever. I'm just giving you resources so you know what's available to you. Okay. So first off, <clears throat> wooden study sticks are fantastic and they are great, but they're hard to find. This one was made for me by a friend uh, named Mike Short. It wasn't made for me. It was one he loaned me in order for me to learn more about carving faces. And so on the back side here, you can see it starts with step one, two, three, and four. And it goes in starting with two just regular V notches and then shows you what he does on each step. Step four, step five, step six, to get that face to look like that, right? That's fantastic work, and it's really been a great resource for me while I'm learning how to do faces because I'm getting better at faces, and I'm not great yet. This is a face that I've done, and it's no small part to being able to study a stick like this as I'm carving to remember, okay, what was the process, and at what step do I need to do this, and what step do I need to do that, and it's, it's been fantastic. So this is not a great face, but I'm learning, and I'm getting better as we go, and study sticks like this are helping me. Now, when I went to the Hill and Holler wood carving seminar, I got to sit with Roger Stiegel. And Roger Stiegel carved on a stick of wood for me, and he carved this big eye here. And I was really curious about eyes, and I wasn't very good at them, and I wanted to learn more. So Roger carved this big eye. And if you go to one of those wood carving seminars, you can probably get Roger to carve you something similar, or whatever carver you're with. You're with Wayne Larimore, Rich, o Rich, Red Rich Weatherby, or uh, Floyd Radigan, or whoever you go see. This face here, is one he carved showing a more flat plane style eye and then he showed me one that was more detailed with a smirk on it and a wink and that's just really fantastic to get a chance to sit there with him and see him carve this right this is a study stick that i keep to help me remember how he carved this face and the way he carved this face which has been another wonderful resource but this you can't go buy right if you want to get a wooden study stick there aren't that many resources the only one i can find online is from van kelly which you can see here that he has on his website. It's the only place I can find where you can get an actual wooden study stick. And you can also find YouTube videos online for how to make one. But if you're not that good at making faces already, it's kind of difficult to do that. So getting one to study is the way to go, I think. Now, outside of wooden study sticks, get rid of that. Outside of wooden study sticks, what are your options, right? There aren't that many. One of the bigger ones is right here. These are study sticks made by Harold Inlow. And Harold Inlow is a fantastic carver. I mean, a, a real pioneer of character carving and, and realism. Like when it comes to realism stuff, his, his, his work is absolutely stellar. No matter what he's carving, he is just a master at it. And I am blown away by his work. But these sticks are heavy because they are not made out of wood. These are cast resin. And so let's take a look at this one first. This is a female face, right? And you can see it starts pretty simple. It's rough shape and then progresses there. He shows you how he put, creates that eye shelf and the bottom of the nose and the lip, right? He brings that eye out more, defines the nose and cheeks more along with the chin and then what he ends up with, right? So how to do that on this face, which is fantastic. And this one says girl face in stages, right? And on the other side, Harold Inlow, 2019. This is cast resin. And if it matters for you, this was made in China. but money for this goes to Harold and uh, Harold's having some health issues these days so I imagine his wife and his family can use all the money they could help get so uh, buy this stick for Harold because he's absolutely fantastic Harvard and a great teacher it's fantastic for being so the other 
next stick that he has here that I like a lot is uh, this here old wood spear one. Now something I didn't mention is that these sticks also come with booklets for you to learn on. So <clears throat> this stick came with this wood spirit booklet. So a wood spirit in 30 steps. So you can look at the booklet as you're working and you're carving this thing and see these steps in the booklet and see what he's doing with the tool and how he's using the tool and what he does in the face and then compare it to the stick in your hand. So it, I mean, if you're, if you're a tactile learner like I am, then this can be really beneficial for helping you learn because you get to see it, read his description on what to do, and then actual, actually get to touch it and see where, how deep he went, where he put that line in against the nose in real detail. You know, you can really get close to it and look at it. See, like, wow, look at that, you know? So that's a really great thing. This is the book that came with the wood spirit. And here's the booklet that came with the female face, right? And it's the same thing as, as the other booklet. It's just detailed and descriptive. And you can use this to compare and contrast against the study stick for how he got from one step to the next and what he did and where, how he held the knife. That's a really great resource as well, right? So that's for the female face. Now this last study stick I wanna show you I think is probably my favorite because it shows you eyes right here in step one, two, three, and four, how to carve that eye. And lips and how you might start number five, straight cut, six, seven, eight, nine. Right on the list, right? But then on top of those eyes and those lips, so this is the uh, the eyes and lips study stick. He also has lots of faces showing different eyes and lips. And the faces he has on here are just fun. They are really interesting character style faces. And like I've been studying this guy and trying to replicate him. He is just so neat. This guy with the big chin beard and that smile. How fun is that, right? That's a Harold Inlow 2019. And this is a, a, a resin stick. And this one too, it comes with a book. And this one is just as detailed as the other ones, giving you information about how to carve those eyes, how to carve those lips, how to do an angry eye here, right? A sleepy or a drunk eye, a basic open eye. So this is there's a lot of good information, and having it in these booklets, along with the study stick, I think is just a fantastic resource. Really wonderful, right? And the last stick I have to go over with you guys is this here, Gerald Sears stick. That it's just a it's a, it's a resin stick as well. It's a lot lighter than the other ones, but I can't find this one online. I found this one when I went to the Peter Engler Design Shop in Branson, Missouri, and I saw it for $11.95. And at that price, I don't believe you can even realize how quickly I grabbed that and had that at the ready to pay. I was like, give me give me a chance to pay you for this one. We need to stop right now and do that. But this is, uh, <clears throat> this is the ear, like step one, two, three, and four. It shows how he does the sideburn, the detail on the ear there. That's a really neat study stick. I thought that'd be really easy to keep with me if I'm like, oh man, I can't remember how to do that here exactly. So that's another neat resource that I have. But again, this one I can't find anywhere. I went to Gerald Steer's website and I can't find that available on there. So outside of this, these Harold Inlow's ones are available on Fox Chapel and on Amazon. And uh, you'll be able to look down below in the doobly-doo and you'll find links to those. And outside of those, the other one I want to talk to you about are some ones that are that are on Dwayne Gossel's website because there's some very interesting ones. For one, there's this Bishop's Face Expression one, which looks really interesting. And it's out of stock right now, but when I messaged Dwayne, he said he could get it back in stock soon. So that's one. And then you got these open and closed hands ones. They're also Bishop ones, and they look fantastic as well. I would love to get my hands on these. I don't have my hands on these, but from the description, these are these are cast resin as well. A poly resin material is what he describes them as. So I'd, I'd, I'd be really interested in getting these open and closed hands ones. I think that's just absolutely fantastic. And I'd love to study that more. And then Dwayne also has this little set here of, Dwayne also has this little set here of mini study sticks available on his website. Now the link to his website is down below as well. And like for that price, I mean, you can't beat that. I would really want to get those study sticks as well, just to have and take a look at. Um, 
I'm a, I'm a tactile person. I like to feel something in my hands to learn about it, right? I like to look at it and see what's the depth on there and, and measuring it with, with, with a tape measure is one thing or with a, with a ruler, but like, you know, feel it with your thumb and know how deep it is that way. That is, uh, is something that I can't quite replicate any other way is being able to touch something and feel it to learn it and learn what to do. That's, that's, that, that's really great for me. So, and that's all I have to really say about the study sticks that are available to you. I just want to make sure I went over this so you guys know the resources that are out there and you can find them and know a little bit about, about them before you jump right into it. So I hope this helped. Hey, and that's all we have for today, folks. So thank you so much for watching this far. Don't forget to click the links down in the doobly-doo below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to share, please, if you would. And uh, other than that, see you next time. Click that link right there. This one? Right there. That one. What? Why are you still here?